Hey guys, me, Reynolds, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. Uh, so our current storm cycle will run through about 4-2, and then the whole thing's going to shift, and we're going to bring in some energy from the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Canada, and that starts 4-3 to 4-5. So between now and then, you can see the timeline in the Sierra, the Tetons, the Wasatch, Colorado, and the Northeast. So, for example, the Wasatch, you've got light to moderate snow accumulation coming in this afternoon, tonight, overnight, into tomorrow morning. Anywhere from probably 4 to 8 inches of accumulation. And then another shot of heavy snow, 328 through 331. In the northeast, you've got light snow, 327. Moderate accumulations, 4.2 and 4.3, with some exceptions, and I'll show you all that coming up in this uh, update. I want to take you over to water vapor satellite imagery here and just kind of give you the lay of the land. So on this, your moisture aloft is in your whites, your blues, and there's a bit of energy, small area of low pressure crossing the Intermountain West um, today, this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning, and that's what's going to bring that snow to Wyoming, to Utah, and parts of Colorado. A bigger area of low pressure sitting back here and another one behind it. Those will play into the, uh, the extended forecast through 4-2, and then the pattern will start to shift and things will come out of the north. But here's your jet stream forecast by close of day today. On 326, everything then moves away. Here comes another storm system. This one favors the Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier. Here's the third and final storm system that digs pretty far to the south through California, runs towards the four corners, and then moves away. And then look at the northern branch getting active here by 4-3 and 4-4, buckling to the south, bringing our next storm system in in a different storm cycle. All right, here's the forecast radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon. You can see this. It's a small storm, but it's refiring the snow across Utah. Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado, giving us a few inches of accumulation. There we go by tomorrow morning. There's 327, there's 328, next storm system crossing the northern tier. That one lays down a pretty heavy swath of snow across the Wasatch, and then the final storm comes in across California and then moves into the interior. That's the one that runs through about 4142. Then we start to look to the northern branch, and that is the next storm system, the next cycle that drops north to south. And that one could be very interesting as well. All right, here's my latest uh, grand totals map by late 4-4. Here's what I'm seeing. Look at the Wasatch, a definite bullseye with potentially two to three or more feet of accumulation. Really, that uh, lifting looks pretty strong for a few different periods over Little and Big Cottonwood Canyons, one to two feet for the Tetons in Colorado. There are some big, big totals there potentially with a, a foot or more in a couple of places. Um, the, uh, the Sierra does well with one to two feet of accumulation, and the numbers have gone up in the northern tier, B.C., and the Pacific Northwest because of that potential shift in the pattern coming 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5. All that comes in from the north and nails a lot of those areas, including interior B.C. and sunshine. So here it is by time period. So rest of today through tomorrow. 4 to 8 across the Wasatch, 2 to 4 across the Tetons, and 1 to 4 in Colorado. Second time period is pretty big for the Wasatch with 1 to 2 feet, 7 to 10 in the Tetons, and potentially 4 to 12 over parts of the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Tahoe down to Mammoth gets nailed. Final time period. This is when things start to really shift. 331 through 44, final storm system rolls through Utah and Colorado, so obviously we get some good accumulations. But then by 43445, again, everything starts to drop out of the north, out of Canada, BC, and the Pacific Northwest, and that starts to pump up all of those totals. All right, the final stop here is going to be the northeast. And here it is. So that exception I talked about, it looks like parts of uh, Maine could get quite a bit of accumulation, but everybody else is on that light to moderate side. A little bit on 327, but more so around 4.2, 4.3, somewhere in there, maybe even 4.4. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.